A depth map is a black and white image with shades of gray in between. The lighter a part of the image is, the closer it is to the camera, so white is the closest. The opposite applies to the darker parts of the image. The darker it is, the farther it is from the camera. The black part of the image is the farthest. The same principle applies to the parts of the image that are gray, so a dark gray is farther from the camera than a light gray. There are free apps you can use to generate a depth map. You can even animate 2D images in some of them, but more on that later. I've provided a list of some apps in the video description. Check them out when you have time. There are two methods that I use to generate a depth map in Photoshop. The first is by using a plugin called a AI Auto Depth by Volumax 7. Since I'm going to be using Volumax 7 for the animation anyway, it's only logical that I install the plugin. The second method is by using Photoshop Neural Filters. Let me show you how they work. First, I'll show you the AI Auto Depth plugin. In this example, I am going to combine these two layers by flattening the image. I only need one source image for this to work. While the image layer is selected, I will go to Window, then select Action in the Action menu. I will go to Volumax 7. Right below Volumax is the AI Auto Depth plugin. I'm going to select the plugin and then go to the small play button just below it and click it. The plugin calculates and then the depth map is generated. Two additional layers are created in the layers panel, which means that the plugin is non destructive, thereby preserving the original image. Now I will show you the second method. I am going to use the same image. In the filter menu, I will choose neural filters. In the neural filters page, I will choose depth blur. In the depth blur adjustment page, I will leave the focus object box empty. Then I'll navigate to Output Depth Map box and activate it. I will click OK and the depth map is generated. This second method requires an extra step, however. If you look at the depth map, it is in reverse. What's supposed to be black is white and, and what's supposed to be white is black. We want the opposite, so to fix that, I'm going to go to Image, then select Adjustments, and then select Invert. We can now proceed to export our depth map. We will bring you more multimedia tutorials, so please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good morning to the world.